My dumb ass will smoke a blunt in between <laughs> session. Man, me, gang. Like, me and Burby smoke blunts together and shit, but like, I be really facing all my blunts, right? So, on a regular basis, I'm not really with a lot of niggas, fam. Like, I ain't moving like that no more. Like, me and the guys, we get together, we get together, but like, on some shit, a nigga really facing all his weed. So, when we get into yo. I'm liable to put that bitch out. Like, if you roll up your blood, bro, I'm liable to either stop hitting your shit or fuck around and put it out. That shit just happened a minute ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> nigga, I'd put that bitch out, gang, because it's like shit, but it like, but, but, but niggas I'm, be smoking a lot of unnecessary weed. Yeah, I made them thinking thing too, though. Like, I used to smoke three, four woods in a session for no reason, bro. For what? Yeah, um, what they be hitting on? The edible? Yeah. The edible straight. <laughs> hey, this nigga Chef Boy RT, Chef Boy <laughs> RTTM. This nigga done whipped up the edibles and shit, man. It is. It's cool, brother. Damn, bro, I ain't gonna lie though, bro. Having a home studio curse too because you can't trust a lot of these young niggas out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, the shit crazy. See, that's why I mean, I couldn't do it, gang. Like, that's why if I, I did, I wouldn't record niggas. Like, I pick and choose. It'll be for myself. You can't, yeah, you can't bring everybody through to your spot, fam. Like, you can't. Niggas be weird in real life. Gang, I pick a choose. On some local shit, you know, Burr might know a lot of niggas will have it go, but when you start getting a little name for yourself, now niggas from other cities is hitting you. Everybody trying to come tap you. I'm just taking like, their ass straight to my key Hey, like, I really got to do a background shit. <laughs> hey, they really got to got them tap in see who y'all niggas in for real. The cow going out of commission. Once them bitches get the couch going out of commission, one of them bitches you get the boom, and all them bitches going to be in McKee. Yo, they be going to McKee Park. Oh, I might have to rent me a little spot that time. Why they be going to McKee? Who? I got to have niggas outside so I can move around. Shit go low. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for real, gotta, You know what for I'm saying? Real, that shit be hard, yeah. too, though. That shit be hard. Yeah, yeah. got to have niggas outside. Shit go low. Mm-hmm. Shit, can have niggas in here, bitch. Too many, too many hey. people around. For shit, yeah. <laughs> for shit, show. For shit, show. Once they get to come from yeah. Jackson and shit like that. But really, you know, them niggas ain't got nothing to lose. Shit. Man, what? Well, hey, I'm finna get messy on this nigga. He trying to, he, he bringing niggas into it. This shit look so smooth. Bruh, when it come to niggas you done had to work with, what's like the worst city in niggas <laughs> you done had to like either do any type of business with? Now this shit is being shot in Mississippi, you feel me? Like, I ain't from here, but I've been here for a long time. You know what I'm saying? So I done been in a lot of different cities out this motherfucker. This nigga done been in a lot of different cities. This nigga <laughs> been in Memphis for a minute. So and I, we could we could name Memphis. I'm just saying, period. Where's the worst group of niggas? Uh females, whatever. What what's the worst city, bro? <laughs> Yeah, they gotta stand on business. Ooh, hello, <laughs> hey, hello. Nigga, nigga gotta think. stand on all that shit. He was popping think. it in the beginning. What he gonna Let me say? Think. Memphis did some good business, nah. Okay. I gotta get okay. you know to Memphis. Memphis did some good business, but them folks taught me a lot of shit on that way. I fuck with them. I fuck with them. Yeah. I ain't got too many motherfuckers in the star for star. ain't really got no sense. Oh, okay, right okay, okay, okay. Hey, shout out Columbia. I fuck with Columbia. <laughs> Columbia fuck with me. He that nigga won't answer the question. <laughs> hey, but then what y'all been waiting on? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas would not answer. Long time. I love y'all, baby. Y'all motherfuckers gotta get together, doubt. Hold on, what's what? What you say? Lawful, lawful, be lawful. Damn. And, and and see the thing about it, it ain't that the being is bad, bro. It's just the being is still new. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I ain't gonna lie, motherfucker get mad at me about shit. I ain't got no control though. I didn't woo the man. Woo. You feel like because it's your hometown, bro. So yeah, you know that man. shit. I ain't think you was gonna say that, but look, okay. So boom, you think it might be because it's like niggas feel like they know you. No, nah, what it man, was, when a yeah, nigga bro. know you, bro, they take shit so nah, much more what personal. What it was, they like, know me. I went and did all that shit, and not being a social media nigga, I ain't never post that shit. I post this look peaks here and there. When I could have been posting this shit every day, all day, but I was so focused in trying to make shit work that I wasn't posting and niggas ain't see it. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't think niggas what really you, be what listening you to me. You talking about talking. your era, your videographer era? When I was in, uh, when I was in Memphis, bro, I met a lot of motherfuckers and did a lot of music in Memphis. Yeah. Like a lot of shit to the point where I really learned the game with yeah, that bitch. Yeah, I got yeah. to really I know learn it, the game. You know, I was, I've been tapped in with you the whole time. So it's like, it's like, 
niggas wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I guess since I wasn't posting it, or I ain't no flash ass nigga. Okay, I see what you're saying. You know yo. what I'm saying? They don't you really weren't really understand. putting it in their face type yo, shit. Yo, and they don't yo. understand what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Or they don't be understanding where I'm coming from when I say something. Do you think shit. you owe your city? Oh, no. Any shit. Time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, hey, stand on that shit shit, though. Bro. I fuck with it, my brother. Oh, you wanna, God, you wanna know why? Hey, you wanna know why? Cause I ain't gonna lie, I done did a lot of good business with niggas in love. I done did bad business with niggas in love. But one thing I can say, a lot, a lot of love was fucking with me when it was free. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't hear from niggas no more. When you put a price on, the shit change. Hey man, you gotta know your worth, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> did you, did you with don't let a nigga put a price like, on you, man. Set the price, man. I feel it. I it's feel like, it. Like, but it's like she either way though, I still try to show a little love. Like even with the mixing. That's why I tell people a song an hour, that way you can leave with some form of a mix. And you more than likely won't have to come back and try to buy a mix. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna save a little something somewhere for you, you feel me? But Man, the only, reason, so much, the only reason I say, I feel what you're saying, because, like, you know, we ain't got to get into it, but at the same time, bro, niggas always look at you different, treat you different, or lack of support, whatever it may be. Like, niggas might not even fuck with you just because, like you said, hometown. No. So, niggas, it'll be motherfuckers no. that feel I like will. because they know you, they'll come in and feel like, oh, they need a discount. It was one. Or, it was one. It was one. One little female from Columbia gave me a hard time though. They're probably the hard the time I done had down. Either. Don't you know? Don't <laughs> don't don't do yourself like that. Like if you know this shit might not work. Like man, book that shit on a Saturday. You got a babysitter. You know, <laughs> you know, because you you leave a bad taste in the motherfucking mouth when you moving like that. But it's like now, nah, okay, yeah. You say you pulling up shit. I might not want to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? After too many times, you canceling shit. Speaking of booking, you know what be fucking me up too. Motherfuckers are steady. You'll tell you'll tell somebody, bro, hit me the day before. Hit me two days before. And they always try to hit you the same day. And it's like they don't realize, like, what the reason I don't take same day schedule, cause let's say I wake up at nine, right? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wake up at nine, shit, I'm eating and shit, full full. I hop on two K eleven o'clock. I'm on the 2K. You feel me? He need, his, he need his me time. I'm yeah. My, <laughs> shit, I got a, I got a session book. Yeah, Yo, you gotta got have a, that though for real. I got a session book for five that booked two days ago. Now let's say you hit me up at one and be like, man, I, I can come in at two. No? Come on, my nigga. Come on, bro. So now you telling me I gotta drop everything I got going on, even though I ain't doing shit. Now I gotta get ready to do something. You gotta respect the nigga time, man. <laughs> shit, that's all I can tell a nigga. Like, going through this shit, you gotta man. respect the nigga time, bro. Like, you can't expect motherfuckers to move on your time or move yeah, how you man. move. This nigga want to. This nigga got a business, or this nigga might have a business. Whoever it is, when you trying to get a service from a motherfucker, shit. The customer ain't always right, man. Like, yeah. Niggas that been in spots where the customer was on bullshit, like, bro. Some niggas be on bullshit, bro. But you know you can't always goddamn speak on the motherfuckers who on the bullshit because it's a lot of niggas that come through and they know what's going on, they know how to move, they they know you know what I'm saying. So it's like, hey, it's always a, got a couple flip like side that, to that shit. I got you know one nigga saying? come from Columbia. Then they get an hour every time he comes. That nigga drop one banker and leave, leave. every week. <laughs> <Dang. laughs> That's type of vibe. You got to get out for real. They drop one banger and for leave. Real, shit. And each banger is getting better and better. No cap. No cap. Yeah, that's hard. This shit hard, hard. fool. But then I ain't gonna lie. Some of these engineers and producers too be on bullshit too though. It ain't just the rappers. It ain't just the rappers, big, man. Big, big, big facts, man. It ain't just the rappers, now. Uh, yeah, let's let's reverse this shit. I mean, you feel yeah. like? I mean, I'm cause a- bro, it do be a lot of niggas on bullshit. It do be a lot of niggas who be bullshitting with the booking, but it be a lot of motherfuckers who don't really know what the fuck they doing. Like, you could pull up to a nigga session and goddamn, he talking a certain way, he moving a certain way, but the mix ain't right. But he can't even he, he might not even understand What the fuck wrong with the mix Cause to him That's where he at with it Like you know what I'm saying But 
Shit, bro. You just gotta know who you dealing with yeah. for real. I'm the type of part. I'm the type of engineer fool. If I record your shit and you ain't like my mix, just be like, bro. Can you send me the raw vocals? Of course. That's what you paid for. <laughs> Here. Man, niggas might be scared. <coughs> niggas might be scared to ask for that shit. I don't like, know why. you know, like it's like shit. You got some motherfuckers who do a song might not like it, and it's like shit. I might not even want to ask the nigga for the beat because. But, but you want to know he why? Made the beat, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these new engineers, the young niggas, they don't take pride in their vocal Man, chain. Niggas is emotional. See, I take pride in my fucking vocal chain, bro. I got a I got a CV twelve running into a Brisanis tool. Running into it. You know what I'm saying? A solo. I got a nice little vocal chain for a home studio. You know what I'm saying? I take pride in this shit. So if yeah. you want your raw vocals, take them. Because yeah. when you send them off to that next they engineer, gonna be A1. that nigga gonna be like, God damn, who recorded yeah. this shit? For sure. You know what I'm saying? The equipment matter like a but, but but that's a different community. <clears throat> The rappers ain't a part of that community, and nah. I hate it. If the rappers were into that community where they actually get to understand what engineers and producers really do, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, motherfuckers yeah. will go crazy together, boy. You think so? <laughs> motherfuckers will go what you crazy, think? So you, What boy. you think is like a disconnect type it shit? It is like? a disconnect because most rappers, all they know is make it sound good. Yeah. They don't really know the terms and shit. They don't really know how to break it down. Man, a lot of niggas don't. A lot of niggas don't know what a good song sounds exactly. like too though. Producers ain't because injured. like my ear might be trained for a certain thing, and it's like you telling me like, yeah. nah, bro, it need to be done this way through the road. Shit. Like sometimes a nigga got to develop that taste for the for the music. I'm telling you, producers producers ain't engineers, but even we can talk in a way where we understand. You know what I'm saying? Even yeah. I can text an engineer and be like, hey fool, can you uh whoop whoop that bass and send it back? And he don't know what I'm talking about. He'll be able to do it. A rapper just come in that bitch and be like, man, I want this bitch to knock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that made that bitch sound good. But they don't understand if I push it in and more, it's going to distort and it's going to sound bad. Or they be like, man, can you uh, can, can you turn, turn the beat up? Well, if I turn the beat up, it's going to drown the vocals. But if I turn the vocals up and the beat up, now we're going to have a lot of background noise we don't want. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand it. What, right what would you advise a nigga to do? Like learn the equipment. <laughs> would you advise a nigga to learn the equipment, learn the the engineering side, or both? No. Like for an artist, what do you feel like would help an artist out? As far what as? would help an artist out is learning, learning proper recording levels, how you talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can... Voice you projection, can, all that shit. Voice projection. Because they ask, like, why mm -hmm. this song sound like this? This song sound like that? Well, For sure. this rapper, he was talking at a reasonable level. You know what I'm saying? You can, He was talking at a level where I ain't, ain't have to... talking too low. He ain't yeah, screaming. Yeah. I ain't have to crank my preamp all the way up. Well, this motherfucker, he'll come in here whisper. Or they come in here shy. So yeah, I got to turn them yeah, up. Yeah, nigga shit. don't need to sound like they self. Like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I got to sure. turn them up, and they wondering, well, why my shit don't sound like that? Because I had to turn you up in the preamp, so it's a lot more distortion on your yeah, voice. Yeah, man. Going. And you, and, hey, don't listen to another nigga song thinking why my shit don't sound don't. like that, bro. It don't be nigga. Sometimes nigga got a better voice than you. Sometimes you ain't put, putting your shit out of projecting your shit the way that nigga might have done it, bro. Like niggas got to know how to. Before you even get to the studio, bro, you got to know how you, the tone you want to say this shit. And like, you need to, you know what I'm saying? You need to know your song first, and then you also need to know your engineer. But you need to know the equipment you're recording on so you know how to put your shit out. And like, quit jumping from engineer to engineer, bro. It, like, you'll hear a nigga mix somebody else's shit. You'll book. Your shit don't sound like the nigga shit he mixed. Not realizing, bro, he been mixing your partner for the last six months. You know what I'm saying? You come and get one session, like you finna get magic. That shit don't work like that, bro. <laughs> yeah. That shit do not work like that, huh? Yeah, bro. Then you gonna drop a tape, nigga. Every song on your tape gonna sound different, Completely bro. Like fucking different. <clears throat> nah, bro. You it, it's best for a motherfucker to find one person to fuck with for real. Like you went to this nigga in Columbia. You went. You went to Hershey Jackson. You went to Sixteen Ball. Then you went, then you went to this nigga crib over here in the Delta that you met on Facebook. Then, bro, like, stop it, man. I'm saying, so you don't think a lot of that shit is going to be the clout? Like, 
shit, nigga. Maybe I just want, I want to go be seen over here. I want to go do this over here just for the vibe. A lot of times, yeah, I, I want, nah, hold no. on, let me say that different because I don't want to say clout, like, really just the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I didn't book studio sessions at certain places just for the vibe. Just because I know I got a cameraman with me. I might want to shoot a little in-studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, you know, niggas be on that. You can do that shit with Big Studio. You can't do that shit with Home Studio. True, true. You say no, just be bobbing around. Don't just be bobbing around and yeah, any other nigga like yeah. a little crackhead or something. Like, and, and you can take that. your shit from the Big Studio and send it to your exactly. regular, you know what I'm saying, and let him mix your shit. Because when you go to the, to the Big Studio... If you ain't got an engineer, you got to pay for one of their engineers. Yep. Niggas don't know that. You ain't just paying for the hour. You paying for the engineer, too. So it's like, okay, well, shit, this nigga might not mix how you like it or know how to mix your vocals. He going to give your ass that that clean cut, just little, yeah, you know, like the regular, the regular bullshit, bro. You know, like, you know how court <clears throat> got, uh, uh, what they call a public defender? Yeah. We that's, public, hey, we, yeah, we public defender, so y'all pay us. Hey, but yeah, like I was saying, bro, like, YouTube beast then got niggas through it, right? Like, everybody don't know a producer. Everybody don't. I mean, yo, you need to do your homework. You know what I'm saying? Start trying to build a little team and shit. But, hey, shout out to the YouTube niggas. Why not just email that producer, though? Or why not just click the link and after if, you record if, the song? What if a nigga get on YouTube and that bitch just say free, be free beat? That's how they get you. Because if your song fuck around and blow up, a nigga is gonna come back for all that. Like, hey, yo, man, look, them bitches say free till they blow. Yeah, that's how they get then you. You fuck around and blow, okay? Like, Let's think about it. This bitch free. 3,000 niggas that made a song off this bitch. I got 3,000 songs I produced out here. There's 3,000 chances that one of these bitches gonna blow. And, nigga, it's at least 300 chances that somebody done copyrighted that beat already. Yep. So where you feel like you got you a hit with this motherfucking song, it's another nigga who recorded this song two months ago. He done copyrighted this motherfucker. He done released it on streaming services. But this nigga live all the way in goddamn Cancun somewhere. Yeah, so you don't know the nigga. Bro. You don't know the nigga, right? <laughs> but your song fuck around and blow, fool. Now nah, nigga hit your ass with a fat ass lawsuit cause shit. You making money off some shit I copyrighted two months ago. That shit real. They went off and started doing the niggas, fool. That shit real, my better. I'm finna start when niggas make me mad. I'm finna start. I'm finna you start. low down, bitch. No, he finna, start. <laughs> he finna wild out. Don't even say that shit, gang. <laughs> what you on, bro? When niggas make me mad. You dropping that bitch. Well, the first three names, well, the first three letters of their name, man. I'm gonna get an LLC on it. Hey. Every time them niggas drop a song, I'm gonna send ass a cease and the cease letter. Oh God, so all you niggas Playing dead. Goddamn GBE Lil Ray Ray <laughs> I own GBE now niggas <laughs> 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 Hey, that nigga low down for that shit though Every time you post on YouTube Copyright strike Nigga, I own you I'ma let you I'ma let you drop shit I'ma let it stay over two weeks that You gonna let that crap. shit make a little money Yep, I'm comfortable Hey, let I'm that shit make a little paper, that. man I'ma do it at the height of your career too I ain't even gonna do it in the beginning I'm going to wait till your ass on TV, all type of shit. You done got this and that. Dang, bro. Who hurt you, as bro? Soon, as soon as your ass signed to me, hey. so I'm, I'm going to let you make it, too. But you're going to be one of the hottest niggas in the world. This nigga trying to take your life from you, gang. I'm telling you. As soon as you, soon as you, as soon as you walk on stage and that grandma touch your hand the next day. Yeah, yeah, I know. He I said that shit till right? he in the car with a nigga and they playing Murder on My Mind. Because, mm -hmm. you know, like, that really the same shit happened to Melly, bro. Niggas had copyrighted the goddamn YNW shit. They were saying, like, oh, this nigga my artist, do do do. Like, I own YNW. <coughs> Next thing you know, niggas end up dead. But you want to know something? You can't play with a nigga like that, bro. I ain't signing these niggas. I ain't friends with these niggas. But you can't play with a nigga like that, bro. I ain't like, with these niggas. Everybody, <laughs> hey, everybody <laughs> wasn't raised right. Jeez. Hey, <laughs> everybody wasn't raised right, brother. I swear to God, you got damn do that shit to some of these niggas. I'm going to be like, damn, where my royalties at? I'm going to be eating. Right, they going to be like, damn, when your funeral is. Better yet. Better yet. I ain't even going to tell a nigga. They just ain't going to know. It's going to be hard to find you out. You just going to hit the ass in here down the line. Nigga, we gonna be 65. They, they gonna, gonna know, though. Like, they gonna know, though, because at some point when a nigga start making enough money, 
Nah. They gonna try to copyright that shit. They gonna shit. know we talking about. They gonna six. find out. Mm-hmm. They, they gonna, gonna find out. At nah, some point. then when they gonna find out, when we talking about sixty, sixty-five, and I tell them shit, I sell your master back by two million. But nigga grandkids, <laughs> hey, nigga grandkids gonna have to come work <laughs> for me, nigga. Like, oh, shit, boy. fuck oh, the boy. kids. Huh? <laughs> Ain't no life insurance, nigga. I am your life insurance. Kids, dog. I am your life insurance, nigga. Uh, damn. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, bro. Y'all nigga know who y'all did. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga this just got, told you that. This so shit get dirty. Don't play with that boy, this man. Hey, dirty. It's not what it is. <laughs> I fuck, fuck with you, you guys. I fuck with no, you, bro. You you know. This dude shit. I'm too old to fight, dog. I'm gonna hit you with hurt. Come on, nigga. It crazy. These niggas is a liability, man. Yeah. Know your business. Know your business for real. But you know, niggas gotta. <laughs> bread ain't no way to just learn all this shit though. Like, mm-hmm. cause shit, nigga, we still learning as niggas go. But you gotta also want to know. Like, if you don't just give a fuck, bro, that shit gonna come back to goddamn haunt you in the end. Like, quick. Shit, try to learn your business in the beginning so you don't end up. It don't end up taking you seven years to goddamn figure this shit out. You know what I'm saying? And being honest, the business ain't that deep. It ain't. Couple clicks here and up, put your name here, put your number there. You in you in you in business. That real though. You in business. It ain't that deep as motherfuckers try to make a scene. Don't don't listen to any nigga that been doing that major shit from twenty twenty ten and back. I'm talking old niggas. Twenty ten and back. I'm talking they want on SoundCloud. Don't listen to these niggas, man. Don't listen to these niggas, man. They know yeah, a little something. I ain't gonna cap you down. I don't even know a nigga. If, if a nigga wasn't on SoundCloud, that wasn't in my generation. That's bro. what I I'm saying. <laughs> these niggas come from a whole different era. Yeah, bro. bro, that's some shit. Like, we 29. Niggas so are selling their shit out the trunk. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to see the best of both worlds. That's that's, that's for sure. Well, we got to that's copy the sure. CDs. Shit. Nigga, what's the first album you ever bought? On me Like on some CD Like cause nigga No cap Like we had iPods and shit You know what I'm saying You but ready for this Niggas wasn't streaming though You ready for this My first album I ever bought And I would never forget it I bought that bitch from Dollar General That bitch was five dollars nigga Fifty cent No What I'm worrying Oh <laughs> that's crazy. I had a cassette. I think I had a CD player, but that's the only CD I had. Why oh, I knew every song on that bitch. Two albums, bro. The first album ever bought for me, my nigga. I was like thirteen, I think. Chris Brown first album. Chris Brown, that bitch called Chris that, Brown. That was the second the album. First I album I bought, nigga. I ain't bought no album so I was like in eleventh grade, nigga. I think I was in like eleventh grade. Chief Keef. Finally rich. <laughs> nigga, that shit had dropped on like Christmas or something around Christmas time. Me and the gang, nigga, we in PJs and shit. We slide to the mall. Ugh, Christmas morning, nigga. Ugh, we go buy that goddamn cheap key. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, hey, niggas don't, man, niggas don't remember that shit. Y'all niggas, all niggas gotta do now is just get on their phone. Yeah, man. bro. That's why the music's so fucked up, though, because it's like this shit too accessible, bro. Just like, down. Nigga, I got, bro, I got 100,000 artists in my phone and shit I be listening to. But I'll fuck around and go two years without even thinking about playing this one nigga you shit. You know what would be a crazy little market? Look. Hold up. I feel like if niggas, if niggas had to go to the stores and buy the albums Yo, again and shit, it'd be different. Like, it ain't really no, no connection to the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be able to go out. Hit the store, spend your money on this shit. Nigga, you ain't no choice but to play it. You own it now. Yup. If a nigga take, nigga take your, like, ooh, this shit gonna hurt nigga feeling. Man, they trying to do R. Kelly like that. <laughs> like, nigga, R. Kelly got hit with the charge. They started taking that, they took all that nigga videos off YouTube. Yeah. Boy, you can't even watch an R. Kelly video, fool. I can't even step in the name of love, <laughs> brother. Look, twin. They raised this nigga whole this, They, bro, they took all the nigga shit down. So it's like, fool. When you could go buy an album, you own that shit. It's in your possession. Nowadays, it's like shit. All I gotta do is get on my phone. We good. Man, you know it'd be a crazy marketing plan though. R.I.P. Spinrilla. Nigga get hot, right? Nigga get hot as fuck. I'm talking hot, like, like I'm talking yeet. Right before he turned to a megastar hot, right? Man, Yeet had a crazy ass this come nigga, up. This nigga go around, bro, and get just somebody. 
to drop off like 10 USB drives and just random convenience stores around around America, bro. Like, don't even tell people. <coughs> and just tell the clerk, like, when people call, just give it to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Give it to them and say this the new this the new woot the woot mixtape type shit. And like that's the only ones in the, the only ones in existence. And the USB drive is encrypted. What if they try to take the information off of all the information delete? For direct to artist sales, I mean direct to consumer sales, right? So that's like next year, nigga. Spotify came out and said some shit like. Well, we gonna pay you niggas what we think we should pay you niggas. This is what they said, bro. They on some shit like, if yo, if you don't have enough streams in a year, nigga, let's say you got a thousand streams. Yeah. That shit might pay you out 50 cent. It, it don't matter though. A dollar, it might pay out. Fool, they saying if you don't have the streams to reach their threshold or whatever it is, you boy, you ain't getting nothing. Because you don't deserve it. Bro, motherfuckers, I don't give a fuck what nobody say, bro. Ain't nobody got more control over music. Than streaming services True. These niggas got it set up To where nigga Don't nobody really know How much money The music generate But we gonna pay y'all What we think We should pay y'all Type you shit You want me to break y'all heart Niggas not making shit Streaming music bro. Nah bro Nigga The only, the only niggas but stream, right now, Streams don't pay shit dog. No cap The only niggas really Eating off of streaming Is the niggas like Kai And them niggas like that but they really nah, eating off it's some niggas, it's and some, it's deals. some artists though. Like you talking about a different type of streaming. That's like oh yeah, visual talking streaming. Music. If we talking, talking music, music. We're talking music. We're talking. Ain't you got to be a nigga like Drake, bro. Oh, like like Tyler Swift for Drake. Tyler yeah, Swift for Tyler Drake. Swift just did like a hundred and twenty three big. She ate. She ate. She ate off that big. Uh, she still that big getting paid. Motherfucker like that. They that bitch just did a billion dollar tour. No cap. She niggas doing two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand views a year. I ain't making shit off this shit, man. Man, you gotta be in that three billion bracket, bro, for real, to just Let be the like seeing some paper. Out, man. Like, no cap, bro. Streaming services ain't paying shit for him. Ain't not. And then, nigga, don't get it twisted. YouTube views don't pay out what you think they pay out, gang. Like, no, they that don't. That shit ain't just like, oh, I get a million views, I'm finna get $100,000. No, Sersky. Hey, you can come make bands on TikTok, though. A million views is a few thousand dollars, bro. For real. And we take oh, I want to say that shit like 45. Yeah, it shit ain't much. It man. ain't. Uh, Come to TikTok, though. 4500 you know type shit. We'd we'll love to have y'all at the top, <clears throat> man. You feel me? Look at that nigga. He love making, Chinese folks. Man, look, man. Hey, TikTok we, going crazy, bro. Man, we making star, new stars every day. I'm TikTok talking, going man. crazy, bro. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where y'all need to be on I. You know what I'm saying? I be on IG, X, all the extra shit. Come to the nigga, top. Nigga, TikTok bro. got a billboards. Like, you know how you got Billboard Hot 100? Yeah. These niggas got TikTok Billboard Hot 100 fam. Real talk. Niggas breaking artists on that motherfucker. Come to the but top. it get it, it get blurry when motherfuckers start trying to make songs for TikTok. Yeah. Like when you get to that point, fam, that's when like you losing yourself, bro. Like make some shit organically, and if it fuck around and take on TikTok, then it take. But you can't be out here like basically dumbing yourself down. Trying to make a song for TikTok type shit. You can't. You can't. And one more thing y'all can't be out here doing. Quit rocking y'all goddamn hips, man. Boy, you niggas is out here throwing ass. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> fat. You niggas throwing more ass cheeks. than these hoes. <laughs> Boy, oh, niggas is booty cheek <laughs> flapper. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> is out like here going crazy, bro. Like, like y'all gotta fuck? chill with all the ass shaking. No, nope. like, oh my god, man, y'all mamas, hey, niggas like, need, need a dad in your life, man. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, fam. You niggas is thrusting. No, <laughs> no disrespect to, <laughs> no disrespect to y'all niggas, but come on, man, get real, bro. That shit even look goofy when the females be doing it. So you know that it's shit look, look crazy, bro. But if a bitch doing it, it's cool. Like let the kids do it. Yeah, the dance is weird to me. I mean, but you know, I'm a '94 baby, bro. It's here. But these motherfuckers, like, <laughs> <laughs> they throwing ass out here. This shit crazy. Oh, <laughs> I mean, motherfuckers is really throwing shit. So I'm like, come on, gang. Like it, we got to put a stop to this shit. But TikTok took over the world. And now you niggas is out here hopping on any trend. Any trend. Ain't nobody trying to set trends no more. Don't nobody want to set the tone. Nigga, weird. Nigga, you see, bro. Niggas is dick niggas riders, weird. though. 
Boy, niggas, man, listen, if you show a nigga a little money, they a big brayo out of death. Bro, the world is so trendy now. It's like, Since we're talking about I just want to be in a picture. Don't bring Rollo back up, Hold bro. Up. Let me hear my pen real quick. Okay, bet. Yeah, this nigga threw a shot at Rollo earlier for no reason. Like, shit was, it was left field. I might take it out. I might not. It depends on how I'm feeling. Nah, look. bro, let it rock. Let it rock. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, speaking of trends, bro, can we stop? Can, can, can y'all relationship motherfuckers die? Like what you, you saying, brother? You just keeping it a hundred. Like, if you in a relationship, you need to die. No, no, not that. But can y'all motherfuckers who are always asking something about black men and black women and this and that? Uh, yeah, can y'all bro. motherfuckers just go somewhere and go to sleep? And it's not so wake much up? other shit you can talk like, about so besides other shit in the world. Bro. Niggas be on all this gender roles. Ah right, man, listen, that should be entertaining because you know sometimes females be getting their head cooked up, but that shit don't do nothing, fam. It's like. It a don't. thousand podcasts I hear about should a woman be cooking dinner? <laughs> like, man, nigga, go cook for that bitch, bro. Like, it's cool, bro. It's cool. Nigga, and then let's be honest, bro. A lot of niggas was raised by their moms and shit. <laughs> like, but my mom ain't raised no soft ass nigga, but she taught a nigga how to get in that kitchen. So, exactly. I don't know how to take care of myself, so why not I'm, take care of my bitch? You I'm know what I'm saying? To like, a nigga on the phone, uh, in, the, in the Mississippi football page, right? So, all I say to the nigga, bro, I say, I'm just like, shit. You say the E boy. Basically, I say, you say the E boy number one team in the state, but they ain't be star for oil off, right? So the nigga gonna say, gay. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, damn. He so played that quick. Okay, man. So, like, so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, damn, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what's up? What like, I do to deserve that? Like, 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 yeah, what's going on? Look, look, I'm like, what's going on? You, you mad, ain't it? Bit Louis, we got y'all motherfuckers got them reckless out here. So she don't talk to him. What we talking? I'm, I'm laughing at everything. I'm sitting laughing most at everything. I'm saying, I know he get mad. Like, he go hurt. The nigga say, uh, the nigga say, I'm an alpha male. Listen, brother. Said, listen, what? listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Man, said, any what? nigga, any nigga. Who call themselves an alpha male is it's probably not, not an alpha, alpha male. Bruh, I told My nigga, that shit ain't a title. Phone, that shit oh is a horror. God. Like, Bruh. nigga, like, you know, Bruh, man, that I shit different, that nigga, brother. I see every nigga that say that alpha male is another alpha male. I done seen some what alpha male fuck? niggas go what outside. Say that? Like, what made you <laughs> say that, bro? Why would you even put yourself in that predicament, bro? Man, bro, niggas be men, bro, and niggas don't know how to get uh, out. Nah, he got mad because I called him a hood, baby. You kind of nigga a hood. I said, I said, you I definitely mean, a little hood, A nigga called you gay, though. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, said, hey. I said, definitely a little hood, baby. Come on, fam. <laughs> that nigga said he an alpha male. That's it, hey, man. I hate, that, I hate that little phrase, though, bro. Like, nigga, I'm an alpha male. Nigga, nigga you ain't less of a man. man. Listen, bro, fuck all that shit. I don't want to, you know, like, niggas is weird, though, fam. It's weird, bro. There is a whole lot of weird conversations that need to stop, bro. They like, manty. What Let's get some money man? together. Shit, let's build together. What the fuck Nigga. is Manti? What? Nigga from Manti. I don't even know what the fuck that is, but he can stay his ass over there. But, like, for you remember we was coming up and shit? Nigga, we was all running the streets. Fool, it was like, nigga, the world was so different, bro. Like, I remember, nigga, before cell phones and shit. Like, yeah, cell phones was around, but nigga, we ain't had none. You can do shit, play Snake on it. Come bitch. on, fool. Like, yeah, brother, little ass, no kids, this shit, a little bricks. The bricks? Come on, fool. I had like snake. 30 bricks, bro. <laughs> like, come on, nigga, minutes free after nine. I'm not playing with these niggas. I'm either. talking to all my hoes after nine. Blackbeard trying to treat. Blackbeard trying to treat. The Razors. And yeah, the Razors. The, the, the little, uh. The, the uh, Kira Seer The little Galaxy too. Edges. I fucked with all them little shit. You shits mean back the Kira Seer that slid up? Yeah, hey, you the sidekick. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Damn, man. Yeah, but like we saw the world before it was like this now, bro. Fam, motherfuckers ain't I nigga, I don't never see kids no more. Bro, I don't see kids nowhere, fool. Now don't get me wrong. <laughs> the world fucked up too. But like, bro, motherfuckers ain't outside no more. They ain't. Like this shit's so wicked. Like, everybody in the house, they on the phone, they on the internet. This next generation gonna be fucked up. Uh, man, the next generation gonna be fucked up. The generation after that gonna save the world. Real talk, man, bro. These it's a quote. 
shit from the Bible, bro. But it say like uh, each generation gonna become wiser and weaker. These little niggas smart, but they ain't wise. I mean, I take that back. I take that back. These niggas is smart, but emotionally they weaker. Socially they weaker. Mentally they weaker. You know, like they impulsive, bro. Like, impulsive fool, nigga, we was coming up, boy. Niggas are banging out all day. You might get your ass jumped. You might, man, when niggas was fighting, you mm-hmm. might get hit with a brick, anything. Yeah, but, fool, but these niggas is 15 years old, gonna kill your ass dead. And don't care. Don't give a fuck about it. Shit, shit be a little different, though. You know, you in the county, you know all your people and shit, right? Mm-hmm. Should be a little different when you get sentenced. Now they taking your ass to parchment, or they taking they taking your ass to the pen. Niggas get to crying. Niggas get to.